Hi, my name is Mercedes Ruiz and I'm first. I attend California State University East Bay. I'm a sophomore and I'm majoring in history. And I'm here today because I am working uh, alongside with two other colleagues of mine on a sustainable food resolution for our school in which um, there will be three parts. My part is um, getting the cafeteria of our school to donate the leftover unused food to the homeless or anybody else who would need it rather than throwing it into a landfill. And so um, some struggles that I've gone through as a first generation student are um, going back to high school, not knowing what to do to get to college. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I was always told by my father that I should go to college, but the problem is that he came to the United States at the age of 20, which is a little older than me. But um, yeah, he always knew that he wanted me to go to school, and I always knew that I wanted to go to school too, but you know, he didn't have the tools to guide me there. So um, as I grew up, all I did was my best. And um, when I got to high school, when the big time to step it up and apply for colleges came, I was lucky to have a resource, um, this organization called Bright Prospect that's um, focused in my community, which is a low-income Hispanic, mostly community. Um, they came in and they kind of showed me the way. They showed me how to apply to colleges, not just me, by the way, other students too. They showed me how to apply. They showed me, um, they told me about scholarships. They told us, you just do your best and don't worry about the money. Just get there first and then we'll worry about the money. And they um, they guided me there and I still they stayed connected with us throughout college so I still keep in touch and um, if it wasn't for them I probably would have gone to a community college which is what most people from my high school do even though they have the potential to go to a four year university. And going to a community college you get stuck in this um, pattern, this loop of not getting the classes you want, not having a direction, not knowing at sometimes why you're still even going because you know you'd rather be working making money rather than spending money on something that you don't know what it's going to lead up to. So um, something that really saddens me is that there's so many kids from my high school at least that I think have great potential to go to a four year university, um, have the world open in front of their eyes and come back and give back to the community, you know, come back, take care of their parents. And um, so many people don't do that because they just don't know. And so I, the struggle that I'm dealing with right now is just accepting that and knowing that I have to do something about it. Um, there, it's a, some of the biggest challenges that I've had as being a first generation student is um, having some, under, some understanding back home of the things that I go through as a college student. Um, nevertheless, a first generation student who doesn't know the college system that well. Um, I'm just, I go to school, you know, I'm doing my best and I'm involved, but there's still a lot of things that I don't know. I just, I met with a counselor this week who kind of explained to me the difference between a minor and an option and a special certificate was. Um, and these are just things that if you had a parent or some other family member who has gone to college before, they could probably explain it to you and um, you could go in there with that knowledge and work for it and get it done faster. So I feel like I'm probably going to be in school a little longer than I could have been because of that. Um, something else would be, I feel like I work really hard and um, sometimes I feel like they don't see that back home and I don't, I don't hold it against my family or anything but sometimes I feel like they don't really understand and that's something kind of hard to deal with. You kind of feel like you're alone and especially since I um, go to school six hours away from where I live, I feel really alone sometimes. And um, some of my classmates aren't first gen, so you know they don't understand that struggle. They have total support from back home, financial, um, moral, and everything else. Um, my family, they do their best, and I think now they're kind of seeing that I'm doing stuff. Not just they ask me, "What are you doing? What are you working for right now?" And I say, "Oh, my general ed." And they they kind of think like I'm wasting my time sometimes, but kind of showed them I made it to Miami somehow for free. So I think they're kind of taking me a little more serious. Um, and some advice that I'd give uh, for people who are first gen in high school would be to reach out for help because there are so many programs out there that want to help you, um, Red Prospect being the one that helped me and, and in school too there's so many programs out there that I don't know if they don't get advertised enough or um, people just don't look for them but if there's the will there's a way I think so I think just having the confidence to ask for help and um, receiving that help and using it to the maximum that you can. Um, yeah. <laughs>